kiss the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake kiss the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Also welcome if you are new. So today's video, like always, is jam-packed full of some major cleaning motivation. I have been getting a bunch of packages. I actually plan on doing our medicine cabinet, just trying to get it more organized. I got that idea from my mom. I still haven't gotten to it. I finally got all the stuff in, but I need to get to it. You know how that is when you just like you have a project you want to get done, but there's so much other things on your plate that just keeps getting pushed off because it's definitely not like the most important thing to get done. Well, that's where I'm at with this medicine cabinet, but I do plan on doing that soon. I've been getting all the packages to organize it and doing the research of how best to organize one of those awkward corner cabinets. So that will be coming up. Um, but today I'm just trying to get a bunch of deep cleaning done. Um, winter time is the worst when it comes to our floors, especially with our rugs, because when we don't have snow, we have mud. So it's either salt or mud in the house. So going to be getting the rug in the dining room clean and just a little bit of everything. So if you guys are ready for some extreme cleaning motivation, make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad you picked my video to get you motivated today. So the other thing I need to do that is on my list, isn't it crazy how the list just never ends? I need to go through Freya's toys. It's been long enough since Christmas that I know what she's grabbing for and playing with compared to what she's just not playing with. So I really need to go through and declutter these. I like to declutter the dog, the kids' toys regularly, but first I noticed the dog had peed on my curtains. This is real life here. If you guys have animals, you guys know accidents happen. Like, this is not a normal thing that happens. But obviously, we didn't notice the dog needed to go outside at some point, And they peed on the curtains. And I like to keep it real with you guys. I'm a dog mom. I love my furry animals, even though I don't always love having to clean up after them. But this is real life. But this is also why I love having white um, curtains and everything. And I did decide since I was doing that curtain, I might as well do all of them downstairs. But I love having white because I can just bleach them. One, it makes me feel really good about them being really clean. But it also just makes it so much easier to keep them clean when I can put some bleach in the load. And no, it is getting thoroughly, thoroughly done. I'm too busy loving. So my sofa, I vacuum the exterior of it regularly, um, but actually taking it apart and doing the underneath gets done every couple of weeks, um, not super regularly. I'm not really strict with the kids when it comes to eating snacks on the sofa, so the sofa underneath is always finding all sorts of little treats, as well as just dog hair builds up on there. Um, our dogs don't go on the furniture, but their hair still gets everywhere. So I need to go in here, clean it up. 
Um, I really, really like using my Lily brush under the couch. I have a couple of different fur removers, but the Lily brush I feel like works best under the couch just purely because of the springs, where some of the other ones just don't work as well, where with that rubber um, thing it has on it, I don't even know what to call it, it seems to do really well to work in the crevices and get around without getting stuck. So. Lily brush is definitely, if you guys are looking for a fur remover, um, I've recently become obsessed with the Chom Chom, and you'll see that later on in this video, but the Lily brush is also really, really good. It's good for your cars, your furniture, um, stairs, a little bit of everything. I like trying out new gadgets all the time, so you guys have seen multiple on my channel, and of the ones I've tried, the Lily brush and the Chom Chom are definitely my two favorites. Now, the other thing I always do is I flip my cushions just so they wear evenly. Obviously, the middle cushion can only get flipped, but I like changing what side the other cushions are on also just because, let's be honest, we all have the like area we sit in the house, so I think it just wears more even. Um, but here you're going to see me working on the rug. As you can tell, there's an obvious like line of where people walk compared to where the table is. And like I said, this is mainly what happens in the winter because, like I said, the dogs go outside through the sliding glass door. Um, we do try and wipe their feet when they're really bad, but it's just, it's real life. Like, I'm not going to wipe the dog's feet every single time they come inside. And even if I did, these rugs would still get dirty. So I'm doing a really thorough vacuuming. Oh, I also had to switch over the curtains. Little tip with curtains, though, do not dry them fully. Everyone always is like, oh, you don't iron your curtains. No, I don't. I take them out when they're still a little damp and hang them, and they finish drying hanging, and then there's no wrinkles. So just a little tip. If you hate ironing like I do, take them out of your washing machine when they're still a little damp and hang them back up, and then they'll dry without any worries of wrinkles. But I'm going in and vacuuming my rug. My plan this day was to shampoo it until the water ran completely clean. I didn't get all the way to that point. However, I did get pretty well. Um, but a couple things to keep in mind. So the first time I went over the rug, I used the shampoo solution. Every time after that, I purely used hot water. It's very, very important to get all the soap out of your um, carpeting and rugs when you shampoo them because that soap and everything can actually um, help with the actual buildup of dirt. Dirt clings to it. So the first time I used soap, every other time after that was purely hot water. I guess I can help myself.
So I also want to do a big thanks to everyone. You guys have been so supportive. I asked um, just the other day, I'm going to be doing like a really thorough deep clean of every single room in my house. And I asked you guys if you wanted to see that in one video or two videos. If I do in one video, it, I don't know for sure, but could possibly be close to two hour video just because it's going to be a very thorough cleaning of every single room. And all the comments, like every comment I got was like, do what's best for you, do what makes you the most money, and all those things. And you guys have no idea how much I appreciate your support. And even just the understanding of this is my job, like, you don't hold that against me. And I appreciate that so much. And um, if you saw a video a couple weeks back, I am currently not monetized on my channel. There was an error with YouTube, and I can't be monetized for another two weeks and then I can try and fix this error um but the idea that you guys even think of my financial situation and everything like you guys are literally the best subscribers and that right there is exactly why I have not taken a break during this time where I'm not monetized because you guys show up for me every single week and I appreciate that so so much and I wanted to be able to still show up for you like you guys are there for me every week and even in this time where I may not be monetized and making money I'm still going to show up for you because you guys are literally the best followers and you guys think about me in ways that you don't have to like you don't have to care about how I make money and things like that, but you guys do. Um, <laughs> sorry about the rant, but it just really touched me to see all your guys' comments and to say the things you guys were saying was just so nice and so sweet. And from the bottom of my heart, I absolutely love you guys and appreciate you so, so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah. That's it. That's all I got to say. I'll stop talking now and you guys can listen to some more music. Alright, you guys have seen this a lot lately, but just in case any of you guys are new and are wondering, this is the Robo Rock Dyad. It is my new obsession. Um, if you are a pet parent, this is a must have because it makes mopping and vacuuming so much easier because it does both at the same time. So I 100% recommend this Robo Rock Dyad. I use this every single day. And I absolutely love it, um, especially right now. So if you guys know anything about Huskies, they blow their fur, which means every spring and fall, they lose their undercoat for the next season. And Drake is getting, he's not quite on full on blowing his coat, but he's getting really, really close. So the fur is real. And Bailey's not much better. He still sheds a ton. It's just different. Um, he sheds more like a normal dog where Husky's literally like it's clumps and clumps of thick under fur. So Drake is almost to that point. So we're starting to see those clumps everywhere, which just means more cleaning for me. <laughs>
So the reason I didn't keep going on the rug is I knew I had a time set of when I also had to get the boys from school. So once I knew I was getting close to that time and only had about 30 minutes left is when I wanted to go in and just tidy everything else up, get these curtains hung back up and whatnot. Um, but this is going to be the next day and I am working on our bedroom, just tidying everything up, switching out um, the sheets, just getting everything really, really clean. You're going to see the chom chom in a little bit. And I know I talked about it the other week, but like I said, I have been obsessed with it. I am curious though, because you're going to see in a bit that we have snow outside. We just got another snowstorm, another one, um, just the other day. And everyone is talking about spring cleaning and for me, spring cleaning is like outside doing the outside windows, like getting everything ready for spring. But I don't know about you, but like we don't start having good spring weather until um, like April. Uh, so a lot of the stuff you see in my spring cleaning video is just stuff that you would see in most videos. Uh, because the other thing is like when I spring clean, I want to open the windows. I want to let fresh air in. Like there's a whole vibe to spring cleaning. Um, and we are definitely not at that point yet. I'm hoping to get there soon, um, but currently it is still cold here in Wisconsin. Every day. So I'm curious when your guys' kids' spring break is. Um, the boys have spring break the last week of March to like the 1st of April. Um, and I have some exciting things planned. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may know a little bit of the story about my older sister. Um, I'm not going to go into detail in this video. However, I'll link her TikTok down below. So if you're curious, you can go check out her TikTok to learn more about the story. But my sister is going through a big life change. Um, so her and her kids spring break are right around the same time. So I am actually going to be surprising her with a kitchen makeover. I'm going to be completely redoing it. Um, so if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe for that. I'm so excited to be able to do this for her. It's something I just feel like is going to make her day and make her feel so good and just have a place where she can be relaxed and breathe. Like I said, check out the description below. I will link her TikTok and you'll get a much better idea of why she needs a place that is new, refresh, and just to give it her more peaceful of a feeling. Um, but I'm really excited for that. So I'm going to be doing that at the end of March. So keep a lookout for that. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take. Hopefully not too long. She's taking her kids to Florida to visit our parents. And while she is gone, I want to completely redo it. So hopefully it doesn't take lot more than that week that she'll be in Florida. Because I want this to be like a complete surprise transformation. She knows I'm doing it, but she doesn't know what I'm doing, if that makes sense. I obviously asked permission to do it, but she, uh, she trusts me enough to let me do it without her having any say in what I do. Oh, also, this is the Chom Chom roller I've been using on the bed um, a ton. The side of the bed is probably where I like using it the most, as well as the comforter, because the dogs sleep on this side of the bed, and they sleep, like, hugged up against the side, so this area always gets really full of fur. And then the comforter just gets fur because Bailey is so huge that even though he's not allowed on the bed, every morning 
he just lays his front half of his body on the bed to wake us up. Um, he doesn't jump on the bed. He's just so tall. All he's got to do is lay his face down and it still gets fur everywhere. And yes, you can still see our inflatables from Christmas outside. Bobby did recently just take all these down. Um, but the ground has been so frozen and snowy that we weren't able to get them down right away like we like to. So they've been out there. They have not been up, but they have been out there. And just recently we were able to take all of them down. So no more Christmas decorations outside. But we really needed the ground to like unfreeze a little bit first. You could cuss out them I don't wanna fall for you, oh no But you make it so hard Watching you dance all night, baby It's making me fall hard Trying to take a deep breath But I just can't control my lungs Ooh. Trying to hide my cold sweat But I just keep on talking and Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. It helps with the algorithm, letting YouTube know you guys enjoyed it. So I appreciate when you guys hit that thumbs up and when you comment below. Those are all things that are hugely supportive to me and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you are already subscribed, also make sure that notification bell is hit. Um, I often get messages saying you guys didn't get notified of any videos. And I know YouTube's really big on having that notification bell hit um, and often won't notify you if it's not. So definitely, definitely make sure to hit that notification bell if you have not already. But I am going to let you guys go, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye!